Hey, we have here today another integral on the board. This one's from MIT 2022, quarterfinals, round two, problem one. We have the integral of arc sine x, arc cosine x, dx. Okay, and you may notice that I actually did this problem already not too long ago. And the first time I did this, I just used integration by parts. I had to use integration by parts three times. And in the comments, there was a couple suggestions from Adan Dapp and Davin Haggerton's of a different method that seemed a little seemed faster and maybe a little more interesting. So what I wanna do is kind of try their method and see how it goes and see if it speeds this up a little bit. So to start, what I wanna do instead of integration my parts, what we're gonna try is a u substitution and I'll make arc sine my u. So we'll set this as arc sine. And from this, we can find that x is gonna just be equal to sine of u. And then I'll take my derivative to get a dx value. So dx is gonna be just cosine of u du. And now the one thing I don't have is I don't have here a value for our cosine, but I can find that. And so this our cosine, this is actually kind of the key to the whole method. And so what I want to do is use an identity that's going to help us find a value for this. We have this form on the board that arc sine of x plus arc cosine of x equals pi over 2. I believe I did some videos related to this. I think I did arc tan plus arc cotangent is pi over 2. But this works out very similar. But anyway, what we can do to use this is we can just rearrange it and solve for the arc cosine. So just subtracting the arc sine on both sides, we're going to put pi over 2 minus arc sine here. But we have a value for arc sine, which is just u, so we can write this as pi over 2 minus u. So now I'll go ahead and make this substitution. So again, our arc sine is just going to be u. We have this value for our cosine of pi over 2 minus u. And then our dx is going to be cosine of u du. And I think I'll just distribute in this u. So we're going to have pi over 2 u, and then multiplying u times minus u, we're going to have minus u squared, all times cosine of u du. And at this point, I will use integration by parts on this thing. So we're going to use the di method or tabular integration. And I'm going to integrate my cosine of u. And then I'm going to differentiate this polynomial here. Because differentiating this is going to reduce nicely. So we'll differentiate pi over 2 times u minus u squared. So then first we'll take this derivative. Derivative of the first term is gonna be just pi over two and derivative of this is gonna be minus two u. Integral here is gonna be sine u. Then we'll differentiate again. Derivative of pi over two is zero. Derivative of this is just gonna be minus two and we'll just differentiate one more time and get zero. So I'll integrate sine u and we're gonna have minus cosine of u and then we'll integrate this and we're gonna have minus sine of u. And just like that, we have a solution in U, right? Just on these diagonals. The last row, because we have a zero term, this last row is gonna go away. So there's nothing to integrate. So we can just kind of write down our solution in terms of U. Okay, so all I've done here is I've just copied down these diagonals directly from my table over here, from my TI table over here on the right. Just noticing on a couple of these terms, we had minus and a minus, so that gave me a plus. Minus times minus gives me a plus here. Then before I back substitute, I'm just gonna do some cleanup here. So like out of this term, I'm just gonna factor the u out. So we have u times pi over two minus u sine u. And then something similar here. What I'm trying to do is because we have an expression right here for pi over two minus u, I wanna use that. So I'm gonna actually take this and write this as pi over two minus u minus u. So it's gonna help me with my substitution. And then we'll just bring this other stuff down. And then we have a value for almost everything, right? We have this value, we have our u value, we have our sine value, but what about cosine of u? Well, in order to get this value, I can just draw my right triangle, because we know we have sine u to work with, so if our angle is u and sine u is gonna be x, well, we can write this as x over one, opposite over hypotenuse is x over one, but then by the Pythagorean theorem, we can get our third side, which is gonna be one minus x squared, so then for cosine of u, cosine of u is just going to be adjacent over hypotenuse or square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay, so now at this point, I think we have everything we need over here on the right, so we should be able to just back substitute. So for this u value, I'm just going to have arc sine of x. Pi over 2 minus u is right here. That's going to be arc cosine of x, and sine u is just going to be x. And then I have no idea why I have two pluses there, so we'll get rid of one of those. Again, this is the same thing. This is going to be arc cosine and our u is going to be minus arc sine of x. Cosine of u is going to be this square root of 1 minus x squared and sine u is just x so this is going to be a plus 2x. And then for my final step I just need a plus c and that's it. 
Anyway, I thought that was an interesting method and probably quicker. And I do kind of wish I used that formula the first time around. So hopefully that helped and hopefully that went a little faster. I'll check the time on this video. Thanks everyone for watching today. Have a great day.